So first problem, compute the coefficient of correlation between x and y using the following data. x has 1, 3, 5, 7, 8, 10. y has 8, 12, 15, 17, 18, 20. Here x and y are random variables whose having only countable number of values. Therefore x and y are discrete random variables. So we have to find out the correlation coefficient between two discrete random variables. So the formula for correlation coefficient for discrete random variable is actually the correlation coefficient. Correlation coefficient of x and y is rho of x y is equal to covariance of x comma y divided by sigma x into sigma y and here where covariance of x comma y is covariance of x comma y is 1 by n into sigma x y minus x bar into y bar and the denominator value sigma x sigma x is equal to root of 1 by n into sigma x square minus x bar square similarly for sigma y is root of 1 by n into sigma y square minus y bar square. So these are the formula for the correlation coefficient between two discrete random variables. So now from the given data I want to find out x bar and y bar. x bar y bar are mean of x and mean of y. That is average. And sum of x y, a summation of x y and this data we all want to find out from the uh, our, required, our table, from the table. So now we want to form a table like this x, y, x square, y square, x, y and end the summation. So now sum of all x data we will get 34. Add all the value you will be getting 34. Sum of y values add all the value you will be getting 90. And now x square, 1 square is 1, 3 square 9, 5 square 25, 7 square 49, 8 square 64, 10 square 100. So sum of x square values is 248. Similarly we can find y square, y square is 8 square, 8 square 64. 12 square, 144, by this way square all the values. And now uh, xy, xy means x into y, 1 into 8, 8, 3 into 12, 36, by this way multiply all the value. So by this way you take square of all the y values and multiply x and y, you will be getting like this. So last value x into y, 10 into 20, 200. So now sum of y square. The sum of y square is 1446. 1446. And now sum of xy. Sum of xy is 582. 582. Okay, after this, I want to find out the value of x bar and y bar. So you see what is x bar and y bar? x bar is mean of x, that is sigma x by n. Sigma x, what is sigma x? These are all, you see, the values are, actually this is x. x means the summation value is sigma x. This is y, the summation value is sigma y. So this is x square, so this is sigma x square. This is y square, so it is sigma y square. And now this is x y, so this is sigma x y. So that here, x bar is sigma x by n, so sigma x is 34, so here 
it is 34 by n. n is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. There are 6 values. So, 34 by 6. So, 34 by 6 is 5.666. So, we can write 5.667. And now, next I want to find out y bar. So, y bar is equal to sigma y by n. So, sigma y is here 90. Sigma y is 90. So, now 90 by same n is 6. So, 90 by 6. 90 by 6 is 15. So, we found x bar and y bar. Okay, now I am going to find numerator value in the correlation coefficient. That is covariance of x comma y. Covariance of x comma y. The formula is 1 by n into sigma x y minus x bar into y bar. So, this is the formula. So, now 1 by n, n is 6. Sigma xy. So, what is sigma xy here? Sigma xy 582. So, it is 582 minus x bar. Already we found x bar 5.667. So, 5.667 into y bar is 15. So, now simplify this. 568, 582 divided by 6k is 97 minus multiplication of these two is 85.005. So finally, subtracting these two, we will get 11.995. So this is covariance of x comma y. This is the covariance of x comma y. Okay, now next I am going to find denominator value. The denominator value is sigma x. Sigma x is root of 1 by n into sigma x square minus x bar square. So here root of 1 by 6 into sigma x square. What is sigma x square? Sigma x square 248. So 248 minus x bar square. x bar is 5.667 the whole square. Okay, so now I am going to simplify the simplification part root of 248 divided by 6. This will be 41.333 minus 5.667 the whole square. This will be 32.115. So now subtract these two. The subtraction is 9.218. Take root of this, you will be getting 3.036. So this is sigma x. So next I am going to find sigma y. Sigma y is root of 1 by n into sigma y square minus y bar square. So now here root of 1 by 6 into sigma y square. So what is sigma y square? Sigma y square 1446. 1446 minus y bar square. y bar is 15. So 15 the whole square. So now root of, so divide these two. We will get 241 minus 15 square is 225. So subtract these two, you will be getting root of 16. Root of 16 is 4. So sigma y is 4. So now we found all the value. Now I am going to write the formula. The formula for the correlation coefficient is sigma xy is covariance of x comma y divided by sigma x into sigma y. So now here I am going to substitute the value so covariance of x comma y already we found it. The value is 11.995 the whole divided by sigma x. Sigma x also we found this is 3.036 into sigma y. We found sigma y value is 4. So this is 4. So now here 11.995 whole divided by multiply these two. So multiplication of these two is 12.144. 12 so finally correlation coefficient of xy is 12.144.
divide these two we will get 0.9877 so this is the correlation coefficient between given x and y discrete random variable you see the random the correlation value is less than 1 so always the correlation coefficient value between minus 1 to plus 1 negative correlation also acceptable so main thing correlation coefficient must be between less than minus between minus 1 to plus 1